What is going on guys, it is Chris or the World by Dune 5 and welcome back to a very unique episode here on Open Fusion. Guys, in the last episode we completed our Double D and Mozart Dojo Guide Mission lines as well as we wrapped up the Master, West, Master Weapon Arsenal line. And guys, <clears throat> if you haven't been paying attention to my last couple videos, I did mention that there's going to be a video... That is going to be a missing video or a missing mission episode of all the missions that I accidentally... Let me rephrase that. A video of all the missions that were in a video or episode that actually got deleted on accident. So I have a list of them all right here on a little sticky note. I have them in the order that we're going to do. And hopefully that should be all of them because if not, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go through <laughs> a separate character all over again to get back to this ex exact point but guys i want to thank you all so much for 97 subscribers on the channel and over 1060 views on episode one don't forget guys once we hit 100 subscribers on youtube i'll be doing a 10 hour live stream over on twitch also make sure you go check out my twitch channel as well as my discord group both links will be in the description below so you guys, one, can see me do the 10 hour live stream. Don't worry, I'll post on the channel when we will be doing that, as well as the Discord group. And on the Discord group, one, you'll know when I go live on Twitch and or when I post a video or something. But guys, we got 11 missions to do, so let's get right on into it. <clears throat> All right, tracking your fusion part three of three. Thanks for coming. I just saw future fusion Juniper Lee escape into the Caponota catacombs. Yikes, I need help. And then we have Avoid the Planetoid Part 2 of 4. I think I know how to stop Planetoid Fusion, but I'm too scared to do it on my own. Want to help? Alright, well, okay. We will actually go down into the catacombs first. Because, well, one. Uh, well, how about, well, I uh, clicked the right one. Alright, so we have to get the UFO magnet remote from the grave worms. And if you guys want to know what I'm wearing, this is the Space Jack suit from the Dexter guideline. I decided to pick uh, Dexter as my guide for this account. So if you guys want to see me do some Dexter guide missions, go check out the Twitch channel below. Also, don't forget, I am doing quote-unquote shorts on the channel as well. Um, we actually discovered thanks to Champ. Uh, so, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, man, I forgot I didn't have a heal. Also, I'm getting a email span for my new job. Also, I am working at my new job now. It's been two weeks, and uh, I am I'm, I'm having some fun, I will admit. It's pretty fun having um, the new job. It's a lot more relaxed, a lot more, um, a lot more fun, you know. It's... It's, it's better. I think it's definitely the right thing I did. But, uh, you know, I've, I've seen actually some patrons that uh, used to go to my old job, now appearing at the uh, pool I'm at now, and they've asked me, what are you doing here? And I, I told them why, and uh, they said, is there any bad blood between you and them? I'm like, well, I hope there's none between them and me, because there's no bad blood for me. Uh, we're close to finding Juniper Lee. Two pet point toy fusion is about to blow us up the whimper. Dexter says he needs to see you back at Dex Labs. But real quick, um, we have to go um, do Avoid the Planetoid Part 2. And then we have to actually go see Coco for Part 3. And you know what would have been smart is if I actually... Well, I think I know who to get. Um, also, a little bit of a side note. I accidentally um, made some progress with the Coco Nano Mission. I accidentally clicked on... Um, the dialogue for Coco, or not for Coco, for Mac, and then I did accidentally, because I had a mission, making me a defeat uh, some Grime Serpents, so I accidentally, we, basically we missed out on some dialogue, but basically, um, uh, I forget what the dialogue is, but we're gonna fight Fusion Coco, nonetheless, but uh, yeah, should be fun, oh, And it wouldn't be a video if I didn't know where we were going. Oh, Ben Button Coyote actually just uploaded the Johnny Bravo nano mission. 
but yeah, as I was saying, guys, go check out my um, two shorts videos in the uh, catacombs. I actually am now a little bit more interested in the catacombs thanks to Champ. Uh, we found the underwater castle as well as this mysterious door that I have no idea what it leads to, but it's a little creepy, let me just tell you. And also, we made a mistake by not bringing, bringing Dexter on our team. Because it is a lot helpful to have a rocket nano on your team. Because you can walk up to that rock and jump right over to the ship. Which also has no railings on it. So uh, this isn't a very safe ship. Indeed. But guys, I just want to say this is going to be the last video, sort of, before we go and fight um, Fuse. Because we got this episode right here. We got... The Fusion Blowfish video. And then, guys, we're on to Fuse No More. Parts 2 of 4, 3 of 4, and 4 of 4. And then, guys, the Let's Play is done. It should be around 78 episodes. I know that technically I like did two parts on some. I did like episodes since, or like episode like 68 parts 1 and 2 sort of thing. But, guys, I just want to let you know that I've had a blast doing this Let's Play and, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this character on Twitch or just go straight into doing the Academy version. Um, I'm not sure yet, but if you guys want me to go complete this account first before going onto the um, Academy, let me know. Also, I have um, calluses all over my hand. I really shouldn't be messing around right now. We got a lot of missions to do. I mean, I have time. Oh, hey, come here. All right, so it's right down there, so we can easily jump. Jump a Dion down there. And also, these mummies you don't kill at all. None of the guide missions make you kill these mummies. And these are, ooh, wait, no, 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 I'm wrong. I am mistaken. You kill these guys up on that cliff or somewhat. Did I really just think, think about that real quick? Wow. So instead of going up that cliff, you can just come in here and kill the the mummies. Did I say zombies? I said zombies. Oh, my lord. And guys, as always, I am recording this on May 25th, 2021 at 7.54 p.m. Um, not a lot has happened since uh, the last episode, really. Um, not a lot, really. Um, besides me really starting to... Um, start up my new job it's been a lot of fun a lot more um again like i said relaxed uh we did do a pokemon uh shining fake fates not fakes fates elite trainer box opening which has done pretty good on the channel around 20 views at the time of me recording this video um if you guys are indeed interested in more pokemon pack openings um i can do so maybe we do like 10 episodes and then a pack opening or something uh we're safe from planetary fusion but a piece of the planetary has crashed down in, in the really twisted forest can you go see coco at the jungle all right so let's go do that all right so we have one more mission and that is avoid the planetoid part three and then we can move oh wait <gasps> no 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 i have it down i have it down i have it down we are good we are good we are good good um, let's see here. Do we have anything good? No. And yes. Oh, there we go. An ultra rare sudden dragon blade. We shall keep that right here. I did get some pretty rare items. I did get the Vulcan Carbine Officer class. It's a ultra rare. I got the Kanye flam Flamethrower, which is a rare. And I got this, the Electron shirt, which is an ultra rare. And then I got the Ruby Angel shirt. I got me my Axe. And then we got this today, just now. Oh my goodness, you know what was funny when I was watching? <laughs> I actually watched today some of the videos, or like, the I watched three videos. I watched the two missions, or the two episodes before the missing one, and then the one after to see what missions I didn't do. So I had to like, write them down and be like, okay, I had to walk my way through 25, find which ones I didn't do. And um, I was surprised I only got three down. I only got three. I said four, but I actually meant three. 
in the video because avoid the plant oil only goes to part three not part four you silly goose but guys we got one more mission from coco which will be avoid the planetoid part three which will probably require us going to the really twisted forest coco, coco okay we we understand what coco is saying coco says she saw a big chunk of planetoid fusion land in the really twisted forest when we destroyed it she wants you to get go get it before it makes the infection worse courage all right we shall go do that also i am drinking a pink grapefruit uh, um, sparkling ice water and uh it's okay you know it's okay i've never had grapefruit before grapefruit oh my gosh i've never had grapefruit before so i'm pretty pretty uh interested in it but guys i think less i think around 30 days if no nah, Less than 30 days, it's going to be my birthday. I don't know if I'll be doing any videos that day. But, uh, yeah. I am. I don't know what I would want for my birthday. You know, I'm, like, debating between two Shining Fates ETBs. I'm debating on asking for some of the original Pokemon cards that are graded for, like, around the $200. Which is really, 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 really cheap. It's a, a Blastoise, a... Um, Venusaur and a Charizard. That's something I've like talked about in the live streams. Is when do I want to like say I'm done collecting Pokemon cards? And um, honestly, I don't know. I would like to get some like an original trio or something. Like the Charizard, the Blastoise, and Venusaur would be cool because those are the most iconic, or some of the most iconic Pokemon ever, or ever. Also, we need a do that real quick so it'd be nice to have those at uh, CGC graded which is basically like a grading system for trading cards Pokemon cards sports cards you name it not credit cards they don't grade well they'll take your credit cards I'll say that oh pooey ah oh, pooey 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 also good thing I watched my video because I realized we can sneak around right to here and skippity up here yep it was actually this guy right here who I killed and uh, caused us to have the dialogue taken in the video. So we need to shoot basically right this way. Uh, I believe it was that way. That was something. Oh, 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 oh. No! That is the most disrespectful thing that's happened on this entire Let's Play. Is that right there. Just getting literally cock blocked by the by this plateau but um getting back to the pokemon cards um i, I i'm not sure uh definitely some I, I i debated on if i wanted to do uh champion's path and i'll be wait, 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 where it's down there it explains why i couldn't see it oh it's over there oh we can take the zippy zippy line Bzz. You should see it. Oh, wow. That loaded in very slow. Looks like just a mossy rock, if you ask me. What do you think you are doing? Bring me that debris from Plantoid Fusion. I believe... Yeah, this mission line we fight, uh, Vilgax. I don't remember... Yipe, I hate to make Vilgax mad, but you... I give that debris to Coco, then come see me. All right, we'll be doing that later. I believe. I don't know when we fight Juniper Lee. I think I did record it. Um, I know we fight Vilgax like three times. But maybe I should have like watched the full video <laughs> to see. But uh, I think this will be a good amount. <gasps> Ooh, this app I uh, watch people do breaks on is doing a. First edition fossil booster box break. I'm actually going to tune into that real quick. I will like to see that. But again, getting back to the Pokemon cards, I thought about doing Champion's Path to try to pull the shiny Charizard. But, and I actually, you know what? I have the booklets right here. That's not what I want. That's Shiny Fates. And that's the Champion's Path. But, uh,. Let's look at Champion's Path, see what they have. Okay, so here are like the quote-unquote rare cards. You got a Dreadnought V, Gardevoir V, Cursula V, Graplot V. 
as the V cards in the uh, ultra rare or the rare. And then you got a full art trainer hop card. I have two of those. Then the rainbow rares, you got Charizard VMAX, Dreadnought VMAX. I have two of those. Garden Horror VMAX, and those are the rainbow rare VMAXs. Then you got Kabu and Pierre's uh, rainbow trainers. And then you got the Char the shiny Charizard V. And then you got Suspicious Food 10 shiny or uh, secret rare. But, um, well, I guess you have a little bit more. You got a Venusaur V, you got an Incineroar or Eldegoss V. Um, Waylord, Dre Dreadnought, Gardevoir, Gardevoir VMAX, Dreadnought VMAX, Cor Cor Corsola V, Al Creamy V, Al Creamy VMAX, Lucario V, I wish I got that guy. You got Duraludon V, so there's not really anything spectacular in Champion's Path bes besides, obviously, the two Charizards. But, uh, alright, let's complete the mission, and guys... With all that out of the way, we can begin our nano mission for Coco. Um, I sadly, again, skipped through the dialogue. Find the fusion portal, and Coco just tells us, Coco, Coco, Coco. Um, Ed told us, after we defeated the Grime Serpents, that he did see a alien-like bird in the uh, infected zone the other day that looked a lot like Coco. And the dialogue before, I forget what, but let's look into Shining Fates, which if you guys don't know why Shining Fates is one of the most popular sets right now is because the word Shining, and that's because they obtain, or they contain a lot of Shiny Pokemon cards. So looking at some of the beginning cards, uh, Delmize V, they have a Delmize V Max. I did pull the Delmize V, go check out the video if you haven't already. There is a Secret Rare Reshiram, and eh, don't really care if I got that. They have a Cinderance V and a Cinderance VMAX. I would have been okay with those. They have a Kyogre Secret Rare. Kind of wish I got that. Um, let's see here. Let's see. They have a Morpeko V and VMAX. Don't really care for that. An MDD V. I think I did pull that. Uh, they have a Crobat V and VMAX. The Crobat VMAX looks cool. A Yveltal Secret Rare or Amazing Rare. We did pull that. Hats on back. Um, there's a Ditto V and V Max. I really would have loved the Ditto uh, Gridenate, Grident, Grident V, which is a squirrel. They have a Cramorant V and V Max. They have the V Max. I bought it at a store. Um, and then they have a El Creamy V. And then here's some of the full art trainers. You got Ball Guy, Bird Keeper, Carry Last, Gym Trainer, Pieters, Poke Kid, Rose. And before we move on, let's go to the Infected Zone. And the trainer, there's actually one trainer card I want, and it's a full art, and that is Skyla. I don't know why. I really like the artwork on this card. And um, maybe or maybe not, I'm simping. Maybe or maybe not, I am simping for her. She is definitely, yeah. What? Um, who, who said that? Swampfire was... Yo, know, Swampfire's kind of acting weird, guys. Swampfire's sus. Swampfire's acting a bit sus, guys, if I must say. I mean, you heard what he said. Also, I will say, probably going to this Infected Zone is one of my most memorable ones. Which is weird, because I don't really like the Coco Nano. But, uh, let's go get her. You know, we didn't, we didn't get the video out of us getting her. Look for a monster that looks kind of like Max Weird Birdie Friend. See? Like I told you guys. But, um, yeah, I will say I, I kind of have a... <laughs> I, I like Skyla. I like Skyla. Um, okay, let's get rid of these Scram Serpents. But, yeah, Skyla is the full art trainer card I'd like to pull from Shining Fates. And maybe maybe a Poke Kid. It looks like a uh, Eevee. It would have been cool to get one of those, I guess. Wow, that Grim, you need to work on your heal game, buddy. But yeah, Pokey Kid, which looks like an Eevee. Um, let me see who else. Maybe Bird Keeper. Bird. Oh, maybe I do want to get Bird Keeper because he has a Starly. But uh, yes, yeah, Skyla, Pokey Kid, and Bird Keeper are the uh, trainer cards I'd like to pull, but most likely, mostly Skyla. And I've contemplated on if I want to buy a uh, PSA 10 or a. Uh, graded Skyla card because uh, 
I kind of want to get into the uh, graded car stuff, you know, because I do have my um my Jirachi DX, which I did find. What set it comes from? It comes from a massive box set, and uh, I am shocked. I finally found it. Thank you so much to Leon Hart for showing that video. Leon Hart, you are awesome. And awkwardly, going back to the Pokemon cards, the only Rainbow Rare in here is the El Creamy V Max. That's the only one that is right. There's no other Rainbow Rare cards, which is very interesting. And Coco, what are you doing, Fusion Coco? All right, let's let's defeat Fusion Coco. And guys, we again have our Coco Nano, which definitely this is not the second time we're doing it. And I'm gonna go with Egg Bomb on this, guys. This choice will not really mean a lot. Just do the fact that this character will really not be in the... It's not our main character that we're going to. Yes, it's kind of the main character that we're playing with right now. But really, we have no main use. Well, I don't say main use. It's not someone we need to focus on right now. But yeah, again, like I said, the Skyla full art is the card I want to pull. Um, then moving on, you get the shiny, the shiny cards. You got the Rowlet line, the Grookey line, um, the Orbeetle line, the Gossifleur, the Eldegoss, um, Applin, Flapple. Really? It turns into a turtle? Oh, also, we need to go do our first level 26 mission, which is Armor Race. I don't think I ever showed this off for you guys, but uh, also they do. Well, you know, let's actually put this up. We'll talk about this later. All right, Armor Race. I'm trying to do fashion some new armor for this from the shell of a great terrapin. If you can bring me one, I'll let you in on a little plumber knowledge. Ooh. Let us do that. Let me go queen. Wait. I really have to get used to like clicking on that <laughs> again. But guys, yeah, after this video, we have indeed three, and I repeat, three missions left. And don't forget, guys. Before we move on to defeat Fuse, there are some there's some fusions wandering this planet. They've been causing some trouble. And I think you guys know who they are. We uh we we, we dealt with them a little little while ago. We killed one of them. Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay. Um we killed one of them and uh We actually have to, there's actually five secretly. Well, hang on, let me complete this dialogue. There's a wishing skull top of Monkey Mountain. If you know where to look, find all nine of them and you'll get your wish. All right, guys, so now we have to do Avoid the Planetoid Part 4, which I believe Courage has it. Um, I should definitely check before we go somewhere. Avoid. The, yep, Courage has it, Avoid the Planetoid Part 4 of 4. All right, so let's go back there, and then we have to go back into the catacombs for um, mutant chickens attack and mutant eggplants attack. They should be pretty easy. And then we got Kevin help us parts one through two, and then, guys, that's about it. That's about all the uh, missions we have today in this video. And also, how is the Lakers' sun game? Already 58 seconds in, and it's scoreless. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But, uh, yeah. Getting back to some Shining Fates. Um, they have a Shiny Suicune card. Um, the Shiny Sobble line. Dredna. Um, what else is a pretty cool Shiny line in here? They have the Toxicity tox, tox tox line. Um... I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't really know a lot of these Pokemon. Uh, they got the the Roy Coley line, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. I would not mind actually pulling one of those guys. And fun fact: that guy got released in Pokemon today. Pokemon Go released Shiny Galarian Zigzagoon in raids. But guys, I am on the last page, and these are gonna be the shiny, like the full art shinies, the shiny V cards that we can. Pull. And before I move on, let's go to nowhere. But looking at the shinies, if you didn't see the video, I would suggest checking it out. If you don't want to and you want to just be lazy and watch this video and not listen to me ramble even more about Pokemon cards, 
these next cards are the shiny cards that you can pull that are like full art. You got the Rillaboom, a Rillaboom V and V Max shiny. You got the Centra Scorch V and V Max shiny. The Lapras V and V Max shiny. Toxicity V and V Max shiny. Indeedy V shiny. Phalanx shiny. Grim Snarl V and V Max shiny. I actually wish I pulled the V Max shiny. That one looks really good. The Ditto V and V Max shiny. And the Double V shiny. And the last shiny card you can get is the Charizard V Max shiny. Which is the one I really want to get them. Charizard and Skyla are the two I want to pull. And then you got the cold card, the gold card, which is E Tornadoes V and V Max card. But guys, that is all the Pokemon cards out of the two packs I've really pulled. And, mm, ooh, let me drink some water real quick. Oh, God. Ooh. Jeez. Wow. Also, we're already 26 minutes in. Interesting. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, by the way. All right, Kurtz, what's up? Hey, I found Juniper Lee's lair. It's in the lower catacombs. I'm not going down there. It's way too scary. Are you up for it? I am always up for courage. And also, I have a theory, guys, that this is not the original entrance to the catacombs because why on earth... Do we have a deck spot leading us down here? Like, why? Also, Juniper Lee's Lair is not down here. It's down this one right over here. And, yes, I'll be pulling Swampfire out. And maybe if we have time in the video, I will show you guys very quickly because, again, we have to keep this around an hour 15. Actually, you know what? Well, how many more we got? We got um, one, two, three, four. We yeah, have five more missions. Excuse me. We've got five more missions after this, and I actually went down the wrong path. Dear Lord, we are already done goofing, guys. We are already done goofing. We are wasting time. Oh, Lord. Also, a Kabutops got pulled from the box break. I am kind of watching that on the side, but... I mean, yeah, out of those sets, definitely the... Like, I would like a shiny Charizard. I'd like to pull a shiny Charizard, because it's Charizard, and... It'd be cool to have, you know? It'd be cool to have, and then the Skyla card, which would be really, really cool. I love the art on that. Um, the reason why I'm not into Champion's Path... Wait, where are the tentacles? Oh my god, I was going to say what? Um, the reason why I'm not into uh, Champion's Path anymore is because it's $130 for a booster box, or an Elite Trainer box, which... Only oh, has 10 packs on it. Oh, so we need to kind of make our way past these guys real quick. I'm not going to fight them. Because one, uh, the quicker we get done with these missions, the quicker I can show you guys stuff. But we got to fight Vilgax first because he's doing something. All right, Vilgax, what do you want, dude? Dude, what are you doing down here? It's interesting how he, the NPCs get fast travel. Vilgax talks a good game, but we, he needs us as much as we need him for now. All right, what's up, Juniper Lee? All right, come on. All right, let's switch to Buttercup, get additional fusion matter, and she is down, guys. You got Vilgax, but watch out. Fusion Juniper Lee is on the prowl. All righty. And we are now out of here, guys. But really, we should... Comp uh. I'm probably going to die. Oh. It worked. Before I go see Courage, we're actually going to complete the... What is your issue? Quit following me. We're actually going to wrap up the eggplant and chicken line. I thought I said the fusion eggplant and chicken line... Before we leave, the chickens I, th the chickens think the eggplants are attacking them as well. Well, Fuse is behind this. Will you explore the Capinota catacombs to see what you can discover? All right, we have to find the fusion eggplants, which are down here. 
And guys, the door I'm talking about is actually right down here in the castles, right over here. So if you want to go check that out on your own, go do so indeed. All right, so we got to go find the fusion eggplants. And we're also going to do the um, chicken mission, which is very easy to complete. Um, I'm also going to just use swamp fire just because it's going to be a lot easier to um, not get hit like every 90 seconds. Why? Yo, really? Are they doing like a set of four? Wait, oh, card. Yo, 750 bucks for, I hope that's like just one. Or like, I hope that's more than one. Because dropping nearly a grand, that's insane. And I don't know if I talked about this, but I, I shouldn't. I was watching, um, I believe during one of my live streams, uh, Mystic7 doing, or he was involved in one of these whatnot auctions. Um, He's like really good friends with one of the whatnot owners. And uh, he got to go to a slabathon, which is basically when you get a card graded, you get to put in a slab, which it's like a little plastic container or like display case. And it has like the grade up top, who graded it, usually what the card is, like what are the issues with the card. And it has the card itself in it. And it's basically called a slab. And um, he purchased at this slabathon, or he bidded, well, Uh, what? Interesting. Interesting. Also, um, the eggplants are right here. Why well, do I have to go all the way down there? Uh, some things about this game makes me have headaches. But, uh, geez. But yeah, he ended up buying a Shining PSA 10 Gem Mint. Whenever it's a uh, gem mint PSA or PSA 10, which is a perfect score, they call it a gem mint. And uh, he ended up purchasing a PSA gem mint shining Charizard, which is a shiny Charizard. So the first one, one of the first edition ones, for fifteen thousand dollars, nearly sixteen. And uh, all I gotta say is, I one day would love to be able to have fifteen thousand, nearly sixteen thousand dollars to just throw around on a single card. I mean, could you imagine that? Having that much money on you to just throw around. Okay, we need to uh, make sure none of the news. Okay. Wait a minute, I'm getting a distress call. Oh no, Fuse is taken hostages. You guys don't even have ears. Two eggplants are trapped. You'll need to fight Fuse's creatures to recover a key. All right. Awesome. Where is this first guy located? Um, so if you go up, yep, 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 yep. I remember where these guys are. We can go this way. Good work. You are a most excellent fighter. You have a, you have the key rescue. All right. But uh, just before I move on, I have a theory that I would like to discuss with some of the um, like probably Ben and some other people here on the Open Fusion, like Discord server and on the website. Um or the server, um, if we could figure out what that door was originally supposed to be to, because my theory is this mysterious door is supposed to be the original um, entrance to nowhere, because I remember I remember watching from a video that uh, the catacombs actually is supposed to be, the entrance was indeed supposed to be in nowhere, but there was supposed to be like a, uh, like a boss like sort of guarding it and there was supposed to be like this massive door and they called him the gatekeeper and I really 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 want to find out more about this because it would make the catacombs a lot cooler in my opinion um, still not a massive fan of it but I, my interest in it has grown a lot actually okay quickly free my other brother and should be oh interesting it's increased my interest in the catacombs tremendously and to be honest guys the catacombs now have actually pole vaulted to be my most 
are one of my most anticipated places in the entire um, uh, Worlds Collide uh, game to see how they um, play, how they update it to see if it's a lot cooler now um, or not. I don't want to say that if it's like if there's some new and interesting lore to it. And you know what? I'm actually okay with this video being a long video because one. It gets to show you guys obviously all the missions we missed because this should have been the fusion blowfish mission and I blame uh, YouTube even though I love YouTube for giving me this platform so thank you very much um, I blame myself but yeah I'll show you guys the, uh, the 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 door because we technically have to go that way and I'm I pretty I'm pretty sure I can just warp back to the area and I'll be fine but we got two more missions after this um, that's an eggplant. Yep, Pete, Pete Pagarima. Wait, are these guys the same? Paul. Okay. Peter and Paul. Pete, Pete. Now we gotta go this way. Technically, I have sh I should go down that like entrance, but we'll go this way. And it's interesting to see like these thorns because uh, there's really like no plants above, but. Guys, this way is where we're going to see this mysterious door. And again, if you want to see my live reaction to looking at this door, go check out the um, shorts video where I literally, the video is literally called The Door? Question mark. Go check it out. Um, you'll see my live reaction to it. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll go see it actually. And I, I can actually come back through here and go down that cave. Now looking at the caves are kind of cool, but yep, right down here, guys, is where this door is. Now, I I, I really it, it kind of is eerie looking at this door. It's kind of eerie in my opinion because of what it looks like. And if you guys are ready to see what it looks like, make sure you hit that like button because yeah, this is the door. Now. I I have never seen this thing ever. Never seen this thing ever. I had no clue this thing was here. And when I originally played through the game, like the OG Fusion Ball game, I never saw this thing ever. Never did. I remember the underwater castle, but I don't remember this at all. So to be seeing this right here, right now, and how it looks like, guys, that's bones. Like, these are bones bones like there has to, like there's chains there's a bull skull with a light coming out of it i mean this right here kind of looks satanic and it, it 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 definitely um it's definitely something that i'm not comfortable seeing um it's very interesting indeed like that it looks like a rib cage like the ribs right up there the head or the skull, the chains, it, it's just very eerie, guys, and the music literally doesn't play. Like, there's no music at all. So it's very... You know what's really weird? I, like, hear very faintly, like, whenever you were in, like, the future and you're crossing the bridges, you, like, heard them creaking. You can barely hear it faintly when you're here. And it, it's just... This thing is terrifying to me, in my opinion. Like, it's very terrifying. And, again, like I said, I swear... This was the original entrance to the catacombs. That's my theory. But... I think there was supposed to be something truly over there that we... That we never got. And, uh... I'm just terrified of it, guys. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to warp away right in front of it because if you guys want to look at it a little bit more, I'm sorry that the warp is right in front of it. But, guys, this is the door. And um, it, it's freaky. It's freaky. Like, I am like I, I know it's a game, but it, it's just in, uncomfortable to be in front of because you don't know what it is from. Like, there's like a... It's like a piece of content that you never... Uh, hang on. Thank you for finding the disgusting fuses monsters that took the... Like, that look like eggplants and saving for some... Okay. 
I fear terrible about this chicken and egg plant war. Will you take this tray of brownies to General So as a sign of our goodwill? Then he says, thank you for taking out those terrible fuseless creatures and freeing my people. Accept this as a sign of thanks. Catacombs used to be so peaceful-like. Huh. Well, what are you keeping in that door then? But yeah, guys, it it, it it's an, it's a, it it, does, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. But again, like I know that I mean, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to come out of that door, but it's very It just feels weird. It just just feels very weird and unsettling and dude your gravity doesn't work like that that shell worm was literally on its side on like a stalactite but again it's very 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 eerie guys and I mean I get a weird feeling from it you know I get a very weird feeling from it and um it it, it leads me to question like what were the original um, plans for the catacombs because if we have that I mean uh, clearly this, like this place used to have like things coming down here because like look at all the torches like th th there's something going on down here and I, I don't think these things were here when we were fighting fuse or when we we're fighting fuse I don't think people came down here and put these things here like there's like a flag here, unless like this is where the uh, mutant eggplants and chickens fought each other. I, I don't think that's um what the original plan was. All right, brownies for me. Oh, there's a car, dear general. So sorry about your for people getting attacked. We didn't do it. Love middle nights nice for fake eggplant. In retaliation to our recent attack, fuse has been taken a number of people. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, this is one of the dumbest things. Um, that's nice, but if Mel Anzana wants peace, you'll need to recover my eggshell helmets and my rotisserie ray gun from the, that have been stolen by the grave worms. Take them out and see if you can recover a key to the hostages' prison box. Okay, so we have to kill these guys real quick for the key. Then we can go free the chickens. Number we're done. Oh, and do the uh, eggplant stuff. But yeah, guys, it, it, it just gets off a weird vibe. And, like, the robot that's down here and the, um, the castle and the door. But mainly the bones also kind of, it's a little, you're like, why are there bones in front of this door? Like, why? Like, out of all the places, I mean, I understand the Darklands, but why here in the catacombs? Like, I, I feel like there's something that. Um, there's something living down here that's not a fusion or like the eggplants or chickens there has to be something living down here and it, it, it just raises a really eerie vibe go deeper into the catacombs good night okay um, where is he where is he where is he okay so apparently he's right down there even though that I know there's none here um I know the worms are right down here I can easily just go right there okay that's what we'll do uh we'll actually go this way Good, now you need to head deep into enemy territory to find the hostages. And I want to apologize for my nose sniffling, guys. Um, I like I, I said I was gonna say this earlier in the video, and then I like got sidetracked. But I was watching some of my old videos and just listening to my my like nose sniffings is so. I am so sorry, you guys have to hear that. Um. I'm like gonna try and keep it a little under wrapped, I guess, a little bit less um, annoying. But uh, real quick, we gotta kill these guys and get the uh, uh, eggshell ham hel helmet, helmet, and the uh, rotisserie ray gun. All right, which is good that we got. Oh man, if this is how it's like when we did the uh, Dexter guideline. It took us forever to get the Aku fragment. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, Mike. 
Awesome. All right, so let's quickly go deeper into the catacombs. Okay, well, here, like, it's so weird. Like, why are there bones down here? Like, like it's very eerie. Like, it's very eerie that there's bones down here. Like, I, I really want to know, like, what's the lore behind this now? And, um, I, I just realized there's a Fusion Paul wiki with this stuff on here. So, let's actually... I need to stop going, like, like sniffing or, like, doing that because it's so bad. It gets picked up so well on my, on my, uh, on my computer's mic. Also, really, guys? Good gravy. The hostages are being guarded by those foul freaks. Technically, they're not. You're just... Technically, they're not because I know where your quote unquote hostages are, dude. Also, I like how these guys are a lot weaker to kill than the other ones. And maybe tonight, guys, I can also do the. Um... And last one, then. You've done it. I'm impressed. Please go free my feathered brethren. Okay. But, yeah, I definitely want to, like, look into the lore to a lot of this stuff. You know? Like, why exactly is there a catacombs? Like, about Forgotten Falls. Like, why is there a Forgotten Falls? Um, what's the Darklands all about? Like, you know, just learning the lore about the game I think would be really, really, really cool. So I have a better understanding, but, um... Huge shout out to Champ if you're watching this Champ. Um dude, you literally like I'm really impressed with how the catacombs are. I mean, it's still a little barren, you know. I wish there was some like some like missions about the the door and the robot and the um underwater castle. Like I wish there was some lore about that. So that, you know, I could learn about it. And also I think this is the only chicken you save. Which is really pathetic, but makes for a very interesting or easy mission line. Praise you, human. Come back, and I will give you a reward. Bach. Yeah, it's so stupid that the hostage is literally like 20 feet from their camp. All right. All right, my people were kidnapped, and you rescued them. You are most courageous, especially for a human. Now you you are dismissed. Bach. That was some heroic work. The chickens from outer space are in your debt. I'll name the next planet we conquer after you. Bach. Thanks, kid. The chickens from outer space are in your debt. I suppose I will accept the eggplant space offering. From, hmm. I, stu I sure do love brownies. All right. Wait, why is he? Hold oh, okay. Okay, so he was saying you can basically. Great. Great job. Come back and see me now that your job is done. Now your job is complete. All right. But I, again, thank you to Champ. I'm very interested in the catacombs. And I'm excited for Worlds Collide to see how much... Mm, You suck. I hate the chicken. Literally, the, the fusions is what makes this part of the game I hate. But everything else, I'm okay. I'm okay with it, you know? I'm okay with it. I, I, I'm really okay with it. Okay, okay. And it is a 20... Woo! 26 to 16 Lakers game. Uh, Drummond scored six, James is seven, and Davis has scored six. So, wow, congrats for the Lakers. Let's hope they can keep it up. I can't stay up too late tonight because I have a work at five in the morning for me. That was stupendous of you to bring the brownies to General So. He's a tough old bird, but I think we'll finally see peace between chicken and eggplants. Nobody can resist a batch of melt on those famous eggplant brownies. I hope they were. I hope the trouble is over and the token of our and here's a token of our gratitude. I, I don't care. Get me out of here. 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 Um, what do we got? We got avoid the planetary door. We're done. Um, no way. No way. Yay, Fusion Jubilee is gone. She scared me big time. She'll be back, I'm sure. At least you taught Vilgax a lesson. Woof. 
Uh, and he doesn't have any dialogue. But guys, two more missions remaining. We got Kevin help us part one or two and part one or three and two or three. Are you tired of squatting fuses or swatting fuses and flies and never hitting the big boss? Let's take down fuses together. I can absorb the monster's power, but I need some help. Oh, uh, that's right. We have to go back down in there. Why are you the way that you are? But um, yeah, let's head on down there, guys. I believe um, these were the only missions that we had. But yeah, we have to go defeat the crypt worm and to get their jelly. Yeah. So this actually might take a while, which is weird, but um, yeah, it's a quite quite an interesting mission line. How Kevin wants to first absorb Fuse's energy, and then he's like, "No, let's absorb imaginary energy," and then it just kablooes in his face. Also, it's wait, wait, I think is it right down here? Yeah, he gets the doors right down this way, which is again really eerie. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it, it's just a really weird thing, you know? It's a really weird thing that's here in the game. And to not have any mention of it. Dude, I... I want to shoot you in the face. Um... It's weird that nothing got mentioned for it, and to be honest, uh, I watched Prizzy's Let's Play, and uh, you didn't go over to it, or the uh, Underwater Castle, which shows me that I think the um, the uh, dev team, or the creators for Fusion Fall Retro, didn't even notice it. I, I want to say they didn't, but it looks like they didn't see anything about it, which kind of... It's kind of interesting that, you know, there's not a lot of, like, story right now or a lot of, um, known information about it, but, ugh, jeez, I forgot this. When I recorded this episode, this took a long time to get. I mean, this was a big chunk of the video. Okay, dude. Okay, we got one. We need five? Bro, why do you need five pieces of jelly? Are you going to lather yourself up and be like, oh, I'm Kevin Eleven. Ugh. Well, we're kind of doing pretty good. Uh, if we defeat two of these guys. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Which way? We have to go that way. Alright, let's go back over there. Not too disappointed. I'm just... Not happy. I really hate this. This just the chickens kind of ruin it. The chickens and the uh, the eggplants really ruin this for me. But ugh. Ugh. that's all I gotta say. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's just make our way through these guys. Hopefully, there's um cryptworm jelly right here. Yes. Okay. Kevin, I thought you were cool. Good, cool, good. Now you, have, now you gotta find the foul freaks. Ah, oh, jeez, guys, jeez. All right, so let's go defeat these guys real quick. Okay, defeat seven of them, and there's B. Yep. yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Also, it's weird that these like are eggplant-shaped homes, but. The eggplants aren't here. It's very weird. All right, so we got the freak pelt. Freak pelt. Oh my gosh, I thought this plant. Really, four, four. Screw these chickens, man. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate these stupid chickens. See, look at, look at aggro range. And we, we got one, so with 33% chance of a drop. Uh, groups of three. Or 33% chance it drops. This is freaking ridiculous. Excuse me, I don't think... Mm. 
What is that range? They just come from nowhere and they start beating on me. I hate these chickens. Ugh. I thought these were this was gonna be quick, but no, we're still here. Hang on. Also doesn't help that I'm out of like ammo. Good, now just two more and then we're out of here. Just two more, and there's two guys right here. I swear, you better have it. You better have it. You better. He's not going to have it. I know it. <gasps> yes. So let's go deliver it to Kevin. And then we can get out of here. We can get out of here. Then I'll never have to come back here again. Well, I will when I do the other guide missions. I know Double D makes you. And that's it. I don't think Mojo does either. No, Mojo doesn't because you go and do stuff in the Twisted Forest and the um, Forgotten Falls. And Double D does, but Ben doesn't, which is interesting. Very interesting. That a lot of the guide missions don't take you down here. It's very interesting indeed. Oh, goodness. You know what? I, I also kind of feel left out is... um. I noticed there's like a group of creators of the game of Open Fusion. They all have like their little clan. I don't want to say clan, but they're like little group. And um, I, I feel like I kind of am known about them. Like someone might know a little bit about me, but I feel like they don't care and don't want me. Like there's people doing fan art for them, which is insane because I would like fan art done. I mean, it'd be cool to see, like, someone do, like, a fan art of me, but, like, oh, my God, $930 for a fossil pack? You're insane. These people are on crack. These people are on crack, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, but I, I just feel like I'm not in their group and they don't care about me because I am doing a let's play and they don't care about that and such. All right, hang on. Thanks, kid. I'll let you help out when it's time to bring down Fuse. Good work. I'll start joining this power right away. It's pretty soon. I'll have enough fusion energy to rival Fuse himself. Plans change. This fusion energy isn't so hot, but Fuse is totally scared of magic energy. He's got no defense against it, so we're going to Foster's. Nice. Go talk to Eduardo. All right, so we have to go talk to Eduardo. Which, actually, you know what? I could take a flight to Mountain Blackhead, which we're doing, then go to Camp Kidney, then go to Foster's. I could do that. Also, we need to delete some stuff because, wow, we are full. Let's see, did we get anything cool uh, so far? Nope, 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 nope. Excuse me. What? What? When was I ever in a level 20? It's 20. When was I in a level 29 area? Huh? Like, seriously, like, huh? <gasps> Yo! Let's go the chromosome helmet. We are keeping that. Yo, that is Letty. Letty. But, uh, when was I ever in, I, I don't think I was ever in a level 29. I, no. That's the freaking fire swamps. I was never in the fire swamps. Where did I get that egg? I mean, you guys saw the video. Was I there and I was just like, hi? Also, yes, I know number four has missions, but we're not doing that. Uh, let me just make sure. Yep, we did all the missions, so we gotta go talk to. If I can click, Eduardo. Guys, this is a little familiar place or unfamiliar place. Look at this, Foster, Foster, cul-de-sac, the cul-de-sac. Oh man, guys. 
Man, oh man. Look, Double D, Eddie, and Wilt. Now let's go to Foster's home for 171 coinage. And yeah, I'm just again looking at all this stuff. Like, like how? Like how? Let's not look at those real quick. Let's. I'm going to gumball these guys up. And I know I have 20, three sets of 20 on each. I've been saving these up since we first started getting gumballs in the game for this account. So we've had a lot. But uh, yeah, also I can't believe someone spent that much money on a pack of cards. Oh, Jesus, guys. Jeebus, 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 Jeebus. Huh, interesting. Looking through my Snapchat, and there's nothing interesting indeed. Nothing interesting. So I think... Uh, I'm trying to think what we got to do. So let's talk to Eduardo. Okay, here's some imaginary energy for you. Interesting. All right, and let's talk to Mr. Harriman. I say asking for him for some imaginary energy is rather, rather personal, don't you think? Good, the energy transducer is fully charged. Took it up to the house outside. And then Dexter talks. Perfect, the transducer will feed off the energy inside the house. Come back. Then Dexter chirps in saying this is not a good idea. Come see me at Dex Labs. This is not a good plan. Please see me at Tech Square when you are free. That's de definitely. Oh, oh, that's just the Dexter guy admission. Eh, we can read if you want. Jack knows someone who can help us with this artifact that you recovered from the really twisted force. Go speak with him when you can. Good luck, Dexter. Which I believe. Oh, we go into the catacombs. We go into the catacombs with Miss Junipali. Ah, oh, goodness, guys. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, goodness, guys. Oh, goodness. All right. I said goodness, like, what, 20 times in a row? Real quick. All right, let's go... On the scampa, then we'll go back to nowhere, and then, guys, that should be it for the video, guys. And next episode, we'll be killing all the fusion blowfish, which you know, I'd rather get it done now rather than wait. And yeah, wow, well, that's expensive. I'd rather do it now. Also, I, I'm not gonna continue to watch this. Wow, 30 to 26. Lakers over the Suns. That's a little bit embarrassing, Lakers. Um, Chris Paul is playing? Well, I didn't think he would play. LeBron apparently did a dunk. Oh, AD kicked Jamison Crowder in the nuts on a jump shot three, and it looked like he didn't even do it on purpose. And he got a flagrant three foul. Bro. That is... Okay. Also talk some basketball real quick. My Nuggets dominated the Portland Trailblazers yesterday in game two. 128 to 109. Suck it, Portland. I don't like Portland. All right, Kevin, what's up? Cool. Once I've collected all the imaginary energy that I can take, Fuse won't be able to stop me. Hey, you better go see Dexter. 
Okay, thanks for the assist. The the energy transistor will collect a ton of imaginary energy and then it'll be able to absorb it. Fuse won't have a chance. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Open Fusion. In the next episode, guys, we are going to be killing the Fusion Blowfishes. There's four. I will talk about a little bit more about them in a bit. It'll be a short episode. And then, guys, three episodes remain. Fuse No More Part 2, 3, and 4. And I've been debating on if I want to do, like, a world tour sort of thing. But uh, you guys got to let me know if you guys want to see that because... Yeah, you guys gotta let me know. But guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. If you hadn't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We are three subscribers away from 100. Comment down below how excited are you guys for the final three episodes of the Let's Play. Well, three missions of the Let's Play. And if you guys are excited for the Academy update, finally. Thank you guys so much again. For tuning in again hit that subscribe button hit the like button oh my god hit that like button subscribe down below and comment as well guys i messed up that outro three times we're done thank you all so much for tuning in peace out love y'all goodbye